Hello, I'm Akhtu Jamin. You're watching Hornbill TV Prime at 9 now. The center has asked the United Democratic Progressive Party to convince NSC and IM to ink the final solution to the protracted Naga political issue. According to PTI, this message was conveyed by Union Home Minister Samit Shah to an 11-member delegation of Nagaland Government's core committee on MPI led by Chief Minister Nipurio and Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton. During a meeting in Delhi on Monday, Shah was entrusted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to meet the core committee, which has been camping in Delhi since Wednesday. PTI quoted Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Neba Krono. Krono, who also holds the planning and coordination and land revenue portfolio, said the team submitted the July 16 resolution of the core committee and asked Shah to revisit the continuous issues and bring a solution to the issue. It also reminded Shah of PJP's election for solution slogan in the 2018 state election and urged him to work for a conclusion to the Naga issue ahead of the next edition of the polls due early next year. The delegation, he said, stressed on a provision in the resolution which laid emphasis on the negotiating parties arriving at a mutually acceptable definition of competencies to resolve the contentious issues at the earliest and bring about an honourable, acceptable and inclusive final solution. As the talks had been officially concluded on October 31, 2019, Modi and Shah were urged upon by the core committee to invite the NSC and IM leaders for an early conclusion. He said, the team will meet NSC and IM leaders on its return and try to convince them to accept the solution, he added. The district court in Varanasi on Monday rejected the Anjuman Intizamia committee's plea challenging Hindu worshippers' request for permission for daily worship of Hindu deities in the Kyanwapi Mosque. A single bench of district judge A.K. Vishwet delivering the verdict in the Kyanwapi Srinagar Gauri dispute case said the case is maintainable. The case was listed for next hearing on September 22nd. The Anjuman Intizamia committee that represents the Muslim site will now move to the Allahabad High Court challenging the lower court. Man Bahadur Singh, counsel of the Hindu site, who represents one of the plaintiff in the maintainability of the suit, said the plea of Muslim site has been rejected. Earlier in the day, an alert had been sounded in all sensitive areas of Uttar Pradesh in view of the court ruling. Police said patrolling is on, peace being ensured. Religious heads have issued statements asking for peace to be maintained, said ADG Law and Order Prashant Kumar. Soon after the verdict was out, a flag march was conducted in Lucknow's old city area by the Commissioner of Police. Addressing the International Dairy Federation World Dairy Summit 2022, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on September 12 said that about 8 crore families are getting employment from the dairy sector. India's dairy sector is recognized for production by masses rather than mass production, he said. The dairy sector is mass production se jada production by masses. Ki hai. भारत में डेरी सेक्टर से जुड़े अधिकांश किसानों के पास या तो एक पशु है, दो है या तीन पशु है। इन्हीं छोटे किसानों के परिश्रम और उनके पशुधन की वजह से आज भारत पूरे विश्व में सबसे ज्यादा दुग्ध उत्पादन करने वाला देश है एस ट्रैफिक जैम्स वर्सन इन शिलोंग इन मेघालया वेस्ट शिलोंग से मिले Mohindro Rapsang on Monday reached the assembly in Scooty coming out from his house the MLA encountered a massive traffic jam which compelled the legislator to take a lift from an individual residing near his house. Interestingly, Meghala Legislative Assembly on Monday discussed the traffic problem. The opposition TMC legislator George P. Liang To raised a short duration discussion on the degradation of roads, traffic management and non-compliance of transport flows in the state. Yeah, 
I, uh, I came by bag. Suddenly I saw one of my friends who was passing through my house. Then I just called call him and said, I go to you wait, no, drop me in the assembly because of the traffic. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have not reached in time. No? That is what. <laughs> it's up to the government to see because we have been addressing this problem all the time. In every session, we've been discussing, discussing. Even today, they discuss about it. But I don't like to participate since we have been discussing a lot throughout the session. And every session, we've been discussing about it. So I hope the government will address this problem in the future. <coughs> Assam police on Monday arrested two more suspects with possible links with the banned terrorist outfit Ansarula Bangla team from Morigao district. The suspected terrorists were identified as Musadik Hussein and Ikramul Islam. Ikramul is an imam and was arrested in the Nagao district. On the other hand, the state police arrested Hussein from the Morebardi area in the Morigam district. Last month, Morigao district administrations demolished a madrasa at Morabari after Police busted a terror module on the premises of the Religious Educational Institute. It does not have any government-run madrasa as they recently been converted into regular schools. However, individual or privately run madrasas continue to exist. A moving Yamaha FZ motorbike caught fire at Maligao near Kamkia Gate in Gohati on Monday. As per reports, a married couple were on the bike traveling towards Maligao from Balaru. It is reported that the bike completely caught fire due to the, some electrical problems. No injuries, no casualties were reported from this incident. A fire brigade team controlled the fire but bike was completely burned. Further investigation into the matter is on. Three persons alleged to be drug peddlers have been arrested from Akepeng Gray in the West Garo Hills of Meghalaya. After about 15 hours of operation that was conducted yesterday, the authorities caught a car with the three alleged drug peddlers identified to be one, Mud Creek C.H. Marak, Aksram C.H. Marak and Pring Star C.H. Marak. Among the Things that the authorities recovered from them, there was approximately 10.22 grams of suspected heroin, approximately 92.54 grams of grey coloured powder suspected to be contraband and rupees 57,500 in cash. An investigation is on. The Assam Legislative Assembly was briefly adjourned on Monday amid chaotic scenes after Speaker Biswajit Dayamari rejected three adjournment motions introduced by opposition members. The Congress Party and Independent MLA Akhil Gogoi brought in two motions on the first day of the autumn session, seeking discussion over the state government's decision to teach mathematics and science in English from Class 3 onwards in vernacular medium schools. 
The AIUDF in its motion wanted to discuss the series of eviction drives carried out across the state and the condition of the evicted families. The German motion is an extraordinary procedure which, if admitted, leads to setting aside the normal business of the assembly to discuss a defined matter of urgent public importance. आज हम एडजस्टमेंट मशहूर लाए थे इस टॉपिक्स पे जहाँ आसाम में जो इविक्शन हो रहा है ये टोटली इनह्यूमन है ये ह्यूमिनिटी का दायरे से बाहर के काम है इसलिए इसी मुद्दे पर आज के हाउस एडजन करके इस मुद्दे पर बात की जाए लेकिन स्पीकर ने नहीं माना दूसरे विपन्स के मातहत करने के लिए बोला है था हमने नहीं माना और इसी के इतजाज करते हुए हमने वाकआउट किया आप लोग आप लोग मदरसा के इशू को रेस करना चाहते थे नहीं मदरसा का नहीं उच्चत में आ जाते हैं इविक्शन में मदरसा क्या राइट है पब्लिक प्रॉपर्टी को बर्बाद करने का उनका ये भी उसी के अवते में है उसी के दायरे में है Former Tripura Chief Minister Biblab Kumar Depp on Monday filed nomination papers for the forthcoming by-elections for the state's loan Rajya Sabha seat. The Rajya Sabha polls were necessitated as the seat fell vacant after incumbent CM Dr. Manik Shah resigned from the upper house. The Bishash Kore, Amake Rajya Sabha candidate Baniyat Shih. नॉमिनेशन दाखिल करें ची आ ताशोंगे शोंगे हरियाणा राज्य अमा के प्रभाव देवा हुए ची आ त्रिपुरा तो राज्य शब्द उम्मीद बार बनाना हुए ची अमी त्रिपुरा राज्य समस्त मानव शक्ति जनता प्रति आभार प्रकट करी एवं ये दोनों राज्य पन्नर दिन पन्नर दिन को राम समय देवो त्रिपुरा वासी जन जब भी काज करे जा चिलाम पार्टी जे दायित्व चुलो जो कुन काज करे ची मुख्यमंत्री शब्द जे दायित्व दिए चुल काज करे ची अकुन मानिक बाबु नेतृत्व से विकास मुकी धारा निश्चित नरेंद्र मोदी जे चिंता धारा तो अंतिम व्यक्ति पर जन तो पहुँचे जावे Deb submitted his papers to returning officer Suitul Fru Mok in the presence of CM Dr. Manik Shah, State PJP President Rajiv Patacharji, Union Minister Pratima Bomik, Deputy CM Dishnu Dev Vama, and other senior leaders. Speaking to media persons, he said the PJP will repeat its electoral success in the elections. Expressing concerns of the Electricity Amendment Bill 2022 that was introduced in the Munson session in Parliament this year, Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandra Shekhar Rao on Monday said if the centre is planning to bring power reforms, then it will be forced to withdraw the legislation just like farm laws that were withdrawn after a nationwide protest. For the sake of the poor scheduled castes and scheduled tribes, people, he requested it to take back the power reforms the government introduced. The contentious Electricity Amendment Bill 2022 aimed at giving multiple players open access to distribution networks of power suppliers and also allowing consumers to choose any service provider was introduced in the Lok Sabha in the Munson session of the Parliament, despite reservations raised by the states. KCR had earlier also criticized the centre, alleging that the PJP-led central government intends to impose electricity bills on farmers who are being given free electricity in the state. The chief minister said that he would die but not do so.
Reliance Infrastructure Limited said it filed an arbitration claim of 134 billion rupees, 1.7 billion in relation to a deal to sell its Mumbai power distribution business to Adani Transmission Limited. Reliance cited a breach in the terms of a December 2017 agreement and filed its statement of claim before the Mumbai Centre for International Arbitration, according to a stock exchange filing. It did not elaborate on the dispute. The financial implication cannot be ascertained and is contingent upon the final outcome of arbitration and subsequent legal challenges. Reliance said calls to Adani transmissions men lined when unanswered outside of regular business hours on Sunday and there was no immediate reply to an email seeking comment. The Arunachal Pradesh police recently reported they rescued four missing girls from a lodge in Assam, Guwahati. The personnel of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam police officers came together in the rescue mission of the four missing girls and arrested a woman who is a prime suspect of the kidnapping. The Diyong police station of Changlang district filed a missing letter in Manapum area, after which the Arunachal Pradesh police started the investigation right away and could locate the girls within 24 hours. After the girls were found in a joint operation, they were handed to their guardians through the Child Welfare Committee of the Changlang district. The Supreme Court adjourned the hearing of a batch of petitions challenging the validity of the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act CAA 2019 on Monday. The top court posted the matter for further hearing on September 19, a bench comprising Chief Justice of India, UU Lalit, and Justices S. Ravindra Bhatt was hearing over 200 petitions challenging the act. In January 2020, a bench led by the then CJI S.A. Borpe issued a notice in these petitions. It may be noted that the central government in the affidavit it said that the CA does not impinge upon any existing right that may have existed prior to the enactment of the amendment. It was also argued that CA does not seek to affect the legal, democratic or secular rights of any of the Indian citizens. A firm called the Design Lounge in Mokokchung donated office furnitures to the newly constructed Mokokchung District GB's Association Hall on September 12th. During an informal program here, the association's president, Along Jamir, expressed gratitude to the proprietor of Design Lounge for donating the much-needed furniture. He said that the noble deed will be always remembered by the association. Proprietor of Design Lounge, Ashok, caused a spoke at the event. He said that GP and Dubashis are one of the important pillars of the Naga society. For their proactive services of the welfare of the public, people live in a peaceful society, he said. He said that the initiative is to show appreciation to the GBs for their selfless service to the public and the district. Mokchung district, Kambura Association Gun, Ikea district hall, GP hall, Punaje, so Ido Ashok, design launch provider, Taibara. Mokchung District Kambura Kangye, Table Likta, Aro Shir Kita, Kya Parli Kushi Kushi Payase, Kambura Kambara, Ido Achokke, Provider Ke Kushi Kushi Pa, District Kambura Kambara Chalai Kyaase. Aro Ini Taila Apal Kam Iki Gina, District Kambura Kambara, Itiya Be, Inda Pauri Bo. Mokchung District De Kambura Kambara, the main part of the organization is society. And the key situation is that the Anbratik, the regular Kingana Chulabra, the district, the Anbratik, the Anbratik, the Amigan, 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 एक ता लाइन एक ता प्रदूषण मदद करो वो अपना इनका तभी ना खुशी ब्रा टेबल एक ता और ये नहीं चेयर भी ता भी तो दूसरा ऐसे कॉल ब्रा प्रेसिडेंट साहब के मोहन इनका मिली ना दीजिए 
This is a bizarre case of mob lynching. A murder case in Meghalaya that went viral on social media for the unique name of one of its accused, I Love You Talang, took an unexpected turn when I Love You along with three other criminals, Lord Star Tang, Chitor K. Dakar and Marn Sanki Tairang went, were lynched by a group of local villagers yesterday at Shangpung village area with Jaintia Hills district, Meghalaya, when they were on a hideout after escaping from Juwai Jail. And this is what we know about the case so far. Why were they arrested? Earlier, Meghalaya police arrested I Love You Tulang in connection with the kidnapping and murder of two cab drivers in Juwai on August 25th. 2022. Talang was apprehended along with three of his accomplices, Ramesh Dagar, Telmi Pairut, Elias Bor, and Sampir Kaisu, on charges of kidnapping and murdering the cab drivers in the West Jainte Hill district. During the initial interrogation, Talang allegedly confessed that he and his three other accomplices kidnapped and murdered the cab driver named Temie Pia Paping, who went missing on August 10 by slitting his throat. Talang also guided the police to where he had dumped the dead body of, of Paping near a cattle market in Mukoi, near the Juwai bypass on NH6. Meanwhile, police also suspect that Talang and his gang were involved in another such crime where they murdered another cab driver named Full Moon Kaisono. Kaisono's body was found dead in a suspicious circumstances in Maincree, is Jaintia Hills. After the arrest, the police produced them in court and the court eventually sent them to 14 days of police custody. Now, on 10 September, around 1.45 p.m., five under trial prisoners and one convict now managed to escape from District Prison Correctional Services, Juwai. And as per reports, the six escapees also included I Love You Talang, Ramesh Dakar, Rikam Lang Lamare, Shidorki Dakar, Lo Sartang and Mar Sanki Dairang. When the warden entered the third periphery gate, he was overpowered and forcefully opened the gate by the overpowering uh, the escapees forcefully opened the gate by overpowering the gatesmen. Now, on reaching the outer periphery, they assaulted the personnel with a sharp weapon and escaped from the place and five out of the six escapees reached Shanggong village, Shangpung village on Sunday about 70 kilometers away. Now, how were they lynched? Around 3 p.m. on Sunday, when one of the prisoners went to a tea shop to buy food, he was identified by the locals and the entire area was alerted and later a large number of people turned up and chased a group of prisoners to a nearby forest. Also, a video of the incident showed angry villagers armed with sticks apprehending the prisoners and beating them mercilessly. And here in this incident, four out of the five prisoners died. The four deceased are I Love You Talang, Lord Sartang, Chitorke Dakar, and Man Marsanki Tairang of Prang village. Now, Marsanki was a convict when the other rest who escaped were all under trial prisoners. Here, the under trial prisoner also who escaped from this lynching was Ramesh Dakar. And the one who was not along with them and who was absconding is Rikam Lang Lamre, and his whereabouts are still under. However, a day after this incident, the prisoner on the run, Ramesh Tagar, managed to escape, who managed to escape the mob fury at Shangpung in West Jente Hills district yesterday. Police arrested the car from Shangpung on Monday around noon. It was informed that the car was first spotted by a few people in the area who immediately reached to the spot to prevent an, any untoward event. The whereabouts of the other escapee, Rikem Lang Lamre, is still unknown.
The state government on Monday instituted a magistral inquiry into the Dubai jailbreak. Dabbling a Suomoto statement in the assembly, Home Minister Lakim Rumpoy said the district magistrate has directed PK Boro, additional district magistrate West Giantia Hills, to conduct magistral inquiry into the matter of jailbreak. He informed that the additional superintendent of police, West Giantia Hills, district has been entrusted with the conduct of independent inquiry into the reasons and circumstances leading to the escape. MH Alam, additional district magistrate, has also been debuted to conduct inquiry on the four dead bodies of the escaped prisoners. On the 10th of September 2022, around 1.45 p.m., five under trial prisoner and one convict managed to escape from the district prison and correctional service, Juai. During the inquiry, the preliminary inquiry, it is ascertained that the district prison, Juai, is segregated into three security parameters. When the warden entered the third periphery gate, he was overpowered and forcefully opened the third gate by opening the gatesman in the third gate as well as the second gate. He was assaulted by the sharp weapon in his head and the escapee overpowered him and all managed to escape. Earlier, the Home Minister informed that a criminal case was registered against the five prison staff, Rajesh Swer, head warden, Champ Milan Kinchin, warden, Tamela Hun Sun, temporary warden, Pintapur Pamun, warder, and Alexia Lautam, temporary warder. Following the escape of five UTPs and one convict from the district prison and con correctional services, Dubai on September 10. In this incident, a total of four prison staff and one police personnel received injuries, and out of which one police personnel got hospitalized. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Real TV.